I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Hey, this is Matt once again. We're about to another review. There's another paid request, this time from Charles Turner. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos, commentaries, reviews, re-reviews, randomness, out of the blueness, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. I will try to get to it as soon as I can. And this is for a film I had never even heard of called The Incredible Jessica James. And for some reason with that title, I thought it was like, is this like a superhero movie? No, I wish. And I'm not even a big superhero guy, but the, it'd be better than what the hell I saw. This film has one of the most unlikable characters I've seen in a while. This lead is so selfish. She's a walking Twitter. Like how people talk on Twitter... If they had fucking feet and legs in the mouth, that would be this lady. And just blunt and honest to her fault. And me, me, me. Like, the, the way it fucking begins makes a bad impression. And no, I don't give a fuck it's a woman. I don't give a fuck if she's black. I wouldn't give a fuck if she had a unicorn literally coming out of her asshole. Which is probably the case because... The Unicorn would want to leave her sorry ass to get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of Dodge. I wonder if she had two heads. But with this lady, the other head would say fuck it and disappear. Or risk death to steep. And be that fucking thing from Basti Case. Because this lady, not the actress, but the character is a bitch. This character is a fucking bitch. Stone Cold Hold Shit Bitch. I mean, the first fucking thing, time we see her, she's on a date because she broke up. And then apparently we find out that she broke up with a guy, not vice versa. But she's talking to someone and goes, you know, I think it's really dangerous to see personal fulfillment through romantic relationships. You know, just letting you know, FYI, you know, you, you shouldn't validate, you shouldn't get validation through others. You know what? I'd rather have my period for a thousand years than continue this conversation. He's hounding the guy about Tinder. Why the fuck did you meet the guy in the fucking first place then? What the fuck? I'd rather have a period for a thousand years. Good, do it and shut up. Don't make a fucking swimming pool out of it and swim it and don't get out. Drown in the motherfucker for all I care. I did not the actress, the character. This character sucked. She was selfish. It was all me, 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 me. Sound like the fucking guy from Mu the Muppets. Me, 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 me. She meets this other guy, and I didn't mind the other guy because he becomes her boyfriend. I feel sorry for him. Well, and then she's like, "Well, when I walked in, you, no, no, we're not there yet." We're still at the opening. 
Tis, or we're still at the opening. Tis, I, 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 with the guy, she's like, just let you know, FYI, and the, the thousand year period she wants. And he's like stumbling, well, what's going on, what's going on, like, being a, no, a normal guy, what the fuck is going on, what is your major malfunction, what is happening here, and she's like, well, when I walked in, you just shook my hand, you should have just grabbed me and said, take off my panties, and smell them, that would work, well, maybe I would have punched you, and then, the they're at a bar, and the, the bar owner's like, you want a drink? And then she literally, she fucking goes, drinking is basic AF. That's, she literally says that. Drinking is basic AF. AF as in as fuck, basic as fuck. But instead of saying basic as fuck, she says, drinking is basic AF. And you know what the kicker is? She plays the playwright. She's talking like this, she f fucking playwright. Who's not successful. I fucking wonder why. Just if your playwrights are written as poorly as you talk. I'm not one to talk. But I'm not writing fucking playwrights am I? Like I said. I hate her in the matter of three minutes. And she's a walking fucking Twitter. She's a walking tweet. And a twit. Fucking shit man. I hated this fucking character. And the, the movie could not pick up after that for me. Such a bad first impression. Your first impression in three minutes and you blew it. You blew it. You blew it. Fucking Twitter twit. If a Twitter had tits, it'd be this bitch. She's walking up the stairs and she takes an innocent guy's piece of laundry and drops it on the ground. What a bitch. The guy didn't do anything. She's teaching kids about drama. I feel bad for the kids. One kid goes, I don't feel nothing. Because you have a shitty teacher, that's why. Then she goes on another date with another person. And that guy, I didn't mind. I didn't mind him as an actor. I didn't mind his, his behavior, his... His vibe, I didn't mind him. But her, like right off the bat, you know, you just run you just remind me of how much you're not my old boyfriend. Oh my fucking god. When she's teaching the kids, okay kids in theater, I want you to scream, I want you to jump up, I want you to wiggle your fingers. I'm like, why don't you just tell them to suck their dicks? Lady and the tramp. So then it follows either her teaching these kids or her going with this one guy. They're like, hey, let's follow uh, our ex's Twitter or Facebook. I forget, Twitter or Facebook. It might have been Facebook. I'm like, yeah, be stalker material. You broken up with them. You're gone, but let's follow. We were following our exes. Now, I'm going to follow your ex. And you don't follow my ex on Facebook and Twitter. And whatever they post, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, that's called stalker mentality. Fucking shit. Get the fuck over it. That's why you want to yell to the fucking stream. 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 But I, you know what? I, 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 you know, stream was right. Because I felt I wanted to stream. Stream. Fuck you to the movie. The screen is what I'm stream, yeah, yeah, streaming shit. Yeah, the, the, the it must be streaming in my face. And then she keeps having dreams of her old boyfriend, and weird shit happens. We're not together, but you unfollow me. <laughs> but you unfollow me on Facebook. Who gives a shit? I mean, even in a dream, they're annoying, shallow characters. So, like, the lead goes back to her, her sister and her mom and dad. And uh, there's a baby shower where some of them pretend to eat poop out of a diaper. It's chocolate. but they, uh, 
I don't feel bad for her feeling like an outsider of her family because she sucks as a person. And there's even one dream that you get the idea that she dumped her old boyfriend. And then she's like, you should have fought for us. What? You dumped me. Yeah, but you should have fought for us. I didn't know the guy had to be fucking psychic, lady. Didn't know that was part of the fucking job description. Holy shit. You see women like this, you wouldn't want a fucking date. Hey, penis, might as well go back in the fucking hole. You don't want to date fucking bitches like this. Because she's black? No, because she's a bitch. You know who's not a bitch? Halle Berry in Kidnap. I'll date her. I'll date Halle Berry in Kidnap and in Executive Decision. And even in Catwoman. Halle Berry is a more likable Catwoman than this lady is. As Jessica James. I rather fuck Jessica Rabbit and she's a fucking cartoon. I don't mean the actress. I mean her personality. There's nothing wrong with the actress's looks. It's her personality that sucks. Does that matter? Yeah, it kind of does. At least that's just little old me. Shame on me. God damn it, man. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what the... Oh. She's giving shit to one of the her students. Because the mom finally got a court... The mom of the girl... Finally got her court dealings with her ex-husband. Ex-husband's finally going to get a day or two or a weekend of custody with the kid. And they're going to go to Six Flags. And the lead bitches about it going, No, she got to go to this, you know, this, uh, this theater thing. This to help her out. I'm really disappointed in you. And when she's like, whatever, I'm going to go enjoy some roller coasters and on Six Flags. I'm like, good. But then she gives in. I'm like, no, don't give in. Tell this girl to go, Jessica James, to go fuck herself. Go fuck herself up her fucking cooch. With a middle finger and a twirl and a twist. You should go to Six Flags. Yeah, she's only like. 10 years old, God forbid she go to a fucking amusement park, lady. Probably the... Be the only time for the next 5 to 10 years she'll get to a fucking amusement park. You want to take it away from her. God fucking forbid. It's all about you, 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 you. What you want, what you need, what you think, what you feel, your sense of accomplishment... Her and the boyfriend, like they... The new one. They break up. And they get back together. I guess. Maybe they do. Because at the end. It's supposed to be the sweet scene. Where the guy's like. I got a lot of freaking flyer Myers. If you want to take a, a friend. And go to this place. And then she takes her female friend. And the little kid. But then I guess in dialogue. They make you think. Oh yeah you know. Oh well. Just because someone gets us freaking fly miles, miles doesn't mean he's my boyfriend. But then the her buddy's like, well, hey kid, I introduced her to her new boyfriend. And then like the lead smile. I'm like, fuck the bitch. Dude, run away as fast as you fucking can from this lady. Because if you don't, you don't find a fucking headless rabbit in your fucking refrigerator. While the rest of it is boiling in a pot. Or she's going to go in a closet and dress up like your ex-wife. And do a fucking single. F single black female. So single white female. She's going to go apeshit crazy. She's going to go. Uh, what the fuck was that movie? A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. That Marlon Lawrence film. The crazy lady in that. Is this character. But that's meant to be a villain. Or go crazy a thin line between love and hate. This is meant to be the lead hero. I think she's a psychopath. I really do think she's a fucking psychopath. 
or sociopath or something with path in it. Yeah, take the path off a fucking bridge into a fucking ditch instead of watching this fucking movie. I hated this fucking film. It was fucking irritating to watch. If you liked it, Charles Turner, that's cool. Teach their own. It wasn't my cup of tea. I hated this lady. Selfish. I mean, if, if, Fuck me in the fucking ass. I'd rather do that. I'd rather fuck me in the ass with my own fucking thumb up the Hershey Highway to Prostateville than watch this fucking film again. So, with that said, we'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Oh, it was released on Netflix. No fucking wonder. That was the. Sometimes they release some good films. I liked it stretching. Really liked Bright. Sometimes they release some dog shit. This is dog shit. In my opinion. So we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.